Certainly, the Fortigate Firewall is one of the most powerful firewalls in the world. Many people do prefer to use this firewall because of the graphical user interface and all of the needed tools in it. But this is not true. I have to tell you a secret about the Fortigate Firewall. There is a hidden word in the command line of the Fortigate. You must learn the Fortigate command line commands to discover these hidden words. Let's start. We use the question mark to display the command line along with the description. We can do this in several ways. To display the command guide along with its description, we use a question mark symbol. There are multiple ways to do this. One of them is to simply press the question mark in this section without typing anything. This will display all the commands related to that section. If you are searching for a particular command but only know the beginning of it, you can simply type in the starting letters and then press the question mark. In this case, it will display all the commands that start with the letters. For example, I write config i and uh, then use a question mark. As you can see, it only shows command that is start with i. Press tab to complete the command uh, when you have only typed a few letters of it. Uh, config tab, sys tab in tab. You don't need to write out the entire command to execute it. Just typing in the few letters of the command is enough. For example, you don't need to write config system interface. Uh, you can simply type uh, conf sys int enter. Okay. I want to modify HTTP access permission for one of the pools. I want to know what is inside the section. You can use the show command to display. Show. Yet, as you can see, when you use the show system interface command, it displays all the ports along with the settings for each port. In general, the show command displays the settings of the section at every step that is executed. For changing the setting of port 2, I will use the edit command. Edit port 2. To use the edit sub command, make sure that you are working with a command that edit a table. So. Good. Now here I can change the permission to access this port, so I need to use the set command. Set allow access HTTP. Show. Okay, wait, I want to do something else. I want to open ping access to this port. So I should write uh, set allow access ping. Well, well, I will press the show command again. Show and enter. Mm, wait, ping has been added. But where is HTTP? It seems like HTTP has been removed. To add pin using the set command, you should write as follows. Set allow access HTTP pin. Show. And the routing permission is more appropriate to use the add command instead of the set command. Great, I also added the HTTPS. Happen, have access HTTPS. Now we use the show command. Show. Great, you can see that HTTPS has been added to ping and HTTP. If you want to do it only HTTP, you can use the unselect command. Unselect, allow access HTTP. Again, we use the show command. Show. You can see that only HTTP has been removed. Now we want to return everything to default. Unset allow access. Show. Now I want to change my table. For example, to change port 2 to port 3. For this purpose, you can use the next command. Next. Edit port 3. Yes. It's important to note that. In order to save 
the change made using the command. You must use the end command. End. Enter. Okay. Now I enter port 2 again. And this time I open access with HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, and PIN. Config system interface. Edit port 2. Show. Okay. Set allow access. HTTP, HTTPS, PIN, SSH. Show. But I don't want to save the change, so I have to use the airport command. Airboard show. I see it appears that the change were not applied. Well, now with the things we have learned so far, we are going to create few new addresses in our address list. Config file one address, for example, editgoogle.com, set subnet. Next, then add new one, edit youtube.com, set subnet, next, and show. Now we have created two addresses and we want to delete google.com for this purpose we can use the delete command delete google.com show and we could easily delete the rule we create with If you have enjoyed this video so far, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date with my latest content, as I am going to teach you all the tips and tricks of this powerful device. We can only use certain command in a specific direction, such as moving command. One of these rows can be found in the policy section. Config firewall policy. As you can see, we already have four policy here. I I want to replace policy four before policy one. Move four for what? Show. As you can see, policy four is placed before policy one. Now I want to make a change and place policy one before policy four. Move. Four after one. Show. As you see, it's already changed. Many people struggle to find the rules they need in the writing commands and coding. However, this is not necessarily true. All you need to know is how to filter. For instance, you can enter the interface and execute the show command. Config system interface. Show. As you can see, it shows us all the code along with your setting. But I want to show only the rules that contain the pin command. So type. Show pipe grid pin. Mm, it wasn't too useful. I have to add something else. Uh, show pipe grid dash f pin. Enter. As you can see, it showed us all the ports that contain the pin command along with their city. It demonstrated how to look at all the ports that contain the pin command along with their respective settings. Thanks for watching the video until the end, don't forget to like it!